Hi everybody, Rick McAvoy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rick McAvoy Photography. So what am I writing about this week on my blog? Well, as you'll see up here, I've reframed my video so we can get a bit of good old Ansel in there. Ansel Adams 2021 calendar, which gives me a daily reminder of how poor my photography is and um, something to aspire to. So um, nice to have. and. It also tracks my um, pointer there. It's my exercise tracker too. There you go. <clears throat> That's why I keep myself on the straight and narrow fitness wise. All I need is an empty space on a day and a pen. Right, massive digression, apologies. So what am I writing about on my blog this week? Here's what to do when Lightroom darkens your photos. One of those strange things. Have you ever looked up, opened up, sorry, let's try again. Have you ever, ever opened up Lightroom and your photos have gone from looking bright and nice to dark and dull and flat? Well, let me tell you what is happening. I'll read the answer if you don't mind. When you open a RAW file in Lightroom, the first thing you see is a JPEG preview. Once Lightroom has processed the data in the RAW file, the JPEG preview is replaced by the RAW file. The raw file is unprocessed, so appears darker, flatter, duller, and with less contrast. Lightroom is not darkening your image, it is displaying the unprocessed raw file. That is what I think. Um, there may be other reasons why, which I will come on to. So, in the blog, who am I? Won't bore you with that. What's a raw file? Well, the raw file is a, is a file that um, has no processing attached to it when you take a photo. The alternative to RAW, the main alternative, I hasten to add, is a JPEG, which has processing applied when you take the photo. Processing that can't be undone. Okay, so why would you take RAW photos if they don't look as good as JPEGs? Very simple. RAW photos are unprocessed, JPEG photos are processed. You can't undo the processing in a JPEG. With a RAW photo, you can do pretty much anything you want. So my personal choice is to take photos in RAW and do the editing that I want to and not let the camera do it for me. Okay, so why does Lightroom do this? Why does it show a JPEG preview? Quite simply, it's trying to show you as quickly as possible the best preview it can. So we shouldn't fault Lightroom for that. Lightroom's had its um, knockers over the years, so um, let's give it a bit of credit for trying to do the right thing. Next question is, but the photo looked fine on my camera screen. Well, this is another of those oddities. When you look at a photo on your camera screen, you're probably, I can't say definitely, because there might be the odd camera that doesn't do this, but you're probably looking at a JPEG preview of the raw file. Now, I don't find that particularly helpful. I'd rather see the raw file, but then again, if you saw the raw file, you'd be looking at a dull thing and you might not be able to make out what you've taken. So. Um, Again, it's just one of those things that we just have to live with. As long as you know this is what's happening, then all is good. So, how do you stop this from happening? Don't worry about it. Once you process an image, you should find that you don't get this problem. Um, next question, if I process the raw file, will this stop? Yes, it will. Um, there might be another reason that this might be happening as in Lightroom darkening your photos if you've applied a preset on import say underexposed by two stops that would make the photos look darker in fact they would be darker so um, if it's happening and the thing I've suggested doesn't work check to see if you've got an import preset applied and on that point I use import presets on every photo I take into Lightroom I give the highlights a bit of a boost, the shadows a bit of a um, boost in, <laughs> in a negative way, a bit of contrast, a bit of clarity, a bit of vibrance, and it makes a world of difference. And it's all things that I do on every photo anyway, so it just gets me started, which is nice. Sure, the photos took a bit, take a little bit longer to load, but I know that's going to happen. I'll let them load and go off and make a cup of tea or have a can of something. Should I take photos in RAW or JPEG? You take them whatever you want. Just know this, if you take photos in JPEG, then there's processing that you can't undo. And you also, 
don't have as much data to work with. Sorry for stuttering there. If you take photos in RAW, you get the maximum amount of data and you've got the maximum amount of flexibility for later on for processing. If you don't know how to process in RAW, that's fine. You could take RAW and JPEG, learn how to process JPEGs and have the RAWs there. Um, don't worry about it too much. If you're happy in JPEG, you want to edit in JPEG, it's fine as well. So what do I do? I take all my photos in RAW. All the photos on my Canon and Olympus cameras, that is. The um, only caveat to that is my iPhone. Sometimes I use the Lightroom mobile camera, which gives me raw images, but more often than not, I just use the standard camera photos app. Camera photos app. Um, so that's that. So I process, I import images as raw files into Lightroom. I process the raw files in Lightroom. And it's only when I come to export them for issue to clients or for sharing or what have you that I then convert them to JPEGs, still keeping the raw photos there. Okay, that is it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out my Photography Explained podcast, available on all good podcast providers. A couple of episodes being published this week, which I've just I recorded, yes, written and recorded. Um, I've still not booked in those speaking lessons yet to um, speak in my native tongue. Also check out my photography blog, rickmacavoyphotography.com forward slash blog. And I'm on all the socials. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers from me, Rick.